think it's something that a lot of people are interested in hearing about. The question was, Databricks supports SQL, has jobs, and Git integration. So what is the value of bringing DBT into my tech stack if I'm currently using Databricks? Yeah, it's a great question. It's one that we at Analytics Inc. get all the time, especially, you know, clients are already using Databricks. Um, a lot of times they've already started to do some sort of transformation within Databricks. And usually this conversation starts to go down this path of how do we scale our organization, right? And we're not talking about just scaling how much compute or throughput you have, how much transformation you can do. This is really scaling your organization from how many engineers and developers are you gonna have working in your transformation environment, as well as how many data assets are you actually going to be supporting? And so one of the things to really think about when considering adding DBT to your stack is that DBT takes you out of this notebook driven environment where a lot of times logic can be very embedded. You can be building multiple tables within a notebook um, and trying to build lineage out of this can be really, really difficult and it can be really hard to troubleshoot when things go wrong. Um, the beauty of DBT is that it takes you out of this mindset and it brings you into this paradigm of one SQL file equates to one table materialization within your database environment. And this is really valuable because organization just becomes second nature. Uh, all of your developers know this, right? And you can really structure these files within folders in, in special in really good ways that your team is able to troubleshoot when things go wrong. You can find issues, right? And you can navigate lineage between different tables. If there are issues, you can rerun things. Anyways, um, that's the beauty of DBT uh, just as a starting point. Um, John, I don't know. What do you have to have to add? Yeah, I would also add that DBT gives you a lot of flexibility with your tech stack. So with Databricks, you might be locked into your transformations living there. Whereas if you're on DBT, you could pivot to other data platforms. So you're not locked into a vendor. If the tech stack changes a few years down the road, you can pivot with DBT. Secondly, I would like to point out that DBT has an awesome community. So their Slack community alone has about 50,000 members, and this offers an incredible experience for both beginners and advanced users to learn how to use the tool effectively. And you can't find the same experience with almost any other tool that I've seen today. One thing to add there too is that DBT, within your organization, right, you have a community. So speaking of community, when you start thinking about bringing something like DBT Cloud into your organization as well, you can really give your analysts, some folks who have normally not been developers and building production ready assets, you can bring them into an engineering environment using something like DBT Cloud. Uh, this is really valuable. It's a great on-ramp to get them skills and things like using Git, how to structure a, a project that's you know a repository, right? That's, that's synced to Git. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful, right? Being able to use DBT Cloud in this way. So if you're currently on Databricks and not using DBT, should you be using DBT? Yeah, you know, as, as always, it depends, right? Um, I think if your organization is small and you don't anticipate growing a whole lot and you have very few data assets to manage, managing them within this notebook environment that Databricks drives is perfectly fine. But if your team is going to start growing the amount of tables you're managing to into the thousands, right? We've seen DBT projects work with thousands and thousands of tables. Um, this is really the tool to start to think about using. Um, it just becomes very, very difficult to manage production and SLAs when you're working out of a notebooks driven environment. Great, thanks guys.